Hi all, this is Yunus. Welcome to my channel. This video is about delete marker, which is related to S3 version control. So let's see when the version control is enabled. Even if you delete a file, how can you retrieve that file even after deletion? Let's see that. Okay, we are in S3 console and I have created a bucket called origin bucket 111. So I'm going to enable versioning for this. You have to go to properties, bucket versioning. It is suspended right now. I'm going to edit it and enable this. Save changes. I have enabled versioning for my S3 bucket, origin bucket 111. Now in this bucket, I have created one folder called version test for our testing purpose. Right now inside this folder, there are no objects. I'm going to upload one object, which is a simple text file with one line. So let me open that file with just one line. Okay, so it has just one line. The file name is my file for versioning. So let me upload this. Upload, add files. It's in desktop, my file for versioning. Open and upload. So file is uploaded. Let us view that file now. Click on this and open. So you can see that file has just one line. Now I'm going to create a second version of that file. I'm going to add one more line, line two added, again save, again upload it, upload, add files, my file for versioning, upload. Now if you go to this page and refresh it, you will see line two as well. Same way I can create one more version, let me do that. Again, upload, add files, my file for versioning, open, upload, close, go there and refresh it. You can see line three added. Now I want to delete this file. Okay. So I'll go back to my folder. So here I have this file. I'm going to delete it. It is asking delete, delete objects. So I deleted it. Okay, so after deleting, I realized my mistake that okay, I should not have deleted that file. I actually required that for some other purpose, but I already deleted it. But if you have version control enabled, you don't need to worry. Why? You can go to show versions. So you can see that it is actually showing you three versions I had uploaded. So it is showing you all the versions and there is a fourth version as well. And the fourth version is called delete marker. So delete marker says that officially this particular file is deleted. So whenever somebody is listing the objects inside this folder or inside this bucket, do not show this file for all practical purposes. This file doesn't exist. But because version control is enabled, all the versions are stored in this particular bucket, which you can retrieve if you want to. So to say that this file is officially deleted, it actually creates another version called delete marker. If I want to retrieve this file or if I want to cancel my deletion, what I need to do is just click on this. First, you have to say show versions. It will show all the four versions. Then select this and say delete. It will ask you whether you want to permanently delete it. I will say I want to permanently delete and delete objects. Close. Now you go back to the folder again and you don't need to see the versions now. Switch off that. You can see that the file is back. So if I go here and refresh it again you can see this but if i delete it again i can delete it delete here it is not asking for permanently delete okay so you can notice that delete objects now if i go here and then refresh it it will give error but i come back here i'll say show versions and then this delete marker if i delete delete it will ask you for permanently deleting it because the delete marker is being permanently deleted not the actual file i deleted it now if i go here and then refresh again you'll be able to see the latest version so this is how delete marker works it actually helps you to save the different versions of your file even if you delete it by mistake you will be able to retrieve that particular file Okay, that's it for this small beginner level exercise. I'll come back with more useful AWS videos. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye.